Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's time for the design videos. Some of you guys have been commenting and I appreciate the feedback and the encouragement, right, to keep up these Wednesday videos. One of the comments was it helps me understand some of the things you've been talking about. So I was like, oh, all right, perfect. So then somebody else suggested getting some 80s or 90s houses and seeing if you can fix those. So I thought that was a great idea. So I went out, there's always been this one house built in the 80s that I thought was an example of kind of just McMansion-y bad design details that, that are just a mess and as I broke into it broke out the different design ideas I don't know if I fixed this house I think I've made it a little bit better I've kind of toned down the McMansion -y aspect of it but it's still not great love your feedback let me know what you guys think right in the comments I'll be sure to reply but come check out this house Okay guys, so here's the challenge on this one. This is, you know, as I said, a 1980s house. But look at all the stuff that's going on. One of the challenges fixing these houses is the elaboration everywhere, okay? First of all, this is the Palladian window. Where it's kind of a mock Palladian window. Well, there's another one over here, okay? Does a house need two Palladian windows? No. Every, every one of these little side windows is arched. And, you know, and then of course the door is back here, okay? And there's another arch with another window. And so, you know, what happens, I think, on these builder grade houses is they want to, in elevation or they want to from the street, have a lot of curb appeal. And so they, you know, they, they kick these things up. And, you know, just there's peaks everywhere. Notice there's gable end, gable end, gable end, gable end, right? And so it is, it's kind of this front forward design idea where everything is elaborated and so it, it's hard to fix this <laughs> and you'll see as, as as i was playing around with it kind of what i ended up with was something just much simpler i took out this arch i took out this arch i took out that plating window right and so i went back with just kind of two windows here instead of that plating window I, I, you know, this is an arched window. I took it out and just made it simpler. I still tried to play around with their elaboration of that front gable end. And I played it with it two ways. I've tried to keep both, you know, gable ends, but I ended up taking one out. A properly done plating window is better than kind of what they had, but I, I've given them a plating window. I've given them this kind of front piece that's really elaborate. I've got this wood panel in between the windows, right? And so I've connected these windows, you know, I brought all this whole unit together with the paneling and the trim and everything else that goes in there. And then I took this, this peak out. Another simple thing I did was, you know, fix this, this there. You know, I don't like the gable end returns with the roof and that's what they've got. But if you think that in that, you know, classical entablature, you have your cymation, your bed mold, and you have a freeze and your architraves down here, right? There's your full entablature. Basically what they've done there is they have basically just done this and, that, and they've wrapped the whole house with this really deep overhanging eave. And so what I've done is I've actually, I've added a, the bed mold in here and then I brought this down and I've stopped at the tania. So it gives this house, you know, kind of a stronger head, right? It, it, it gives it support underneath here. So this entablature now wraps around here and you see it drops down. Here, that brick runs right up to the edge of the ceiling, right? The brick's running right to here. And what I'm doing is I'm actually bringing trim down here so that that, you know, hat or the roof looks more substantial, looks like it can carry more. So I brought the door forward because, you know, they've got things layered back. And a lot of ha things happen with new houses is where's the front door? And in this case, it's kind of hidden back here. And so I pulled this all forward so that the front door can now, you know, sit out. This still sits proud, but the front door is sitting there. And then I've de-emphasized all the coining. They've got coining everywhere. And so it, it looks fat, looks bulky. And so one of the trends of McMansion houses is they want to, you know, turn everything up to 11, like I said, with the, with the windows and everything else. And, and just look how another problem with windows is that you have different size windows everywhere. A traditional house would have 15 of the same windows and then 20 of the same windows, right? It might have two or three different window styles. Here you've got one, two, three, four, 
five there's almost six window types and there's there's only seven windows on the entry so changing around and simplifying these details now i've got one two three four windows and then two, these two windows the same fixed this 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 window kind of tied that all together so hallmark of traditional design is kind of simplification of these windows and you know here you see I've dialed them down, got rid of the arches, but then also kind of tied them together in size to kind of unify this thing. The other, you know, challenge on this is where should my eye rest? Where 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 do I want to look? And because I've got, you know, this being elevated, this being elevated, and obviously all of that, by, by simplifying things, it's really getting you to, to center and focus on the house here as opposed to over here and over here and up in this corner uh, trying to tie it all together. Okay guys, what did you think? Was that better? Did that improve it? Let me know what you guys think. I realized as I was looking through these houses that just all the details are turned up to 11, right? They're just all way too elevated and so just cutting down some of those things and look i understand from the builder side the builder's going gosh i need to make a big show i only get one chance at a first impression right and so they just throw everything at it and so dialing down some of those things softening some of those things i think does help but let me know what you think i'm brent hall be sure to follow me on instagram and facebook thanks for watching